birthday. I know you don't have kids yet, but where would you take them? Oh, Malik, I got a lot of nieces and nephews. And it's funny, this next story is actually where I would take them. You see, through research, Explore St. Louis has found that over 70% of visitors to St. Louis are here to see family and friends. And if I know one thing about family vacations, it's a matter of finding something for everyone. And Grant's Farm does just that. Take a look. Hi, I'm Doug Stagner, president of Grant's Farm. Grant's Farm has been part of the St. Louis community for generations. And in fact, this year we're celebrating our 120th anniversary with storied traditions and brand new experiences. In keeping with our 68 year tradition, general admission to Grant's Farm is free. Compliments of the Bush family and our premier partner, Anheuser-Busch. Guests begin their experience by boarding one of these trams for a complimentary tour through the Deer Park, where they'll see large and small animals free-ranging throughout the Deer Park. The journey continues in the Tear Garden, where guests can hand-feed small animals, enjoy a carousel ride, and more. The Barnhof is a popular destination here at Grant's Farm. It is one of the original buildings built on property in 1911. Here, guests can enjoy a meal, snacks, drinks, and adults of age can sample Anheuser-Busch products. This is also a great place that can be rented out for private events and group celebrations. Hi, I'm Craig Thomas. I'm the curator of animals here at Grant's Farm. Uh, Grant's Farm is the original birthplace of the world-famous Budweiser Clydesdales. And when you come to Grant's Farm, you have the opportunity to do a Clydesdale tour where you get to learn about the animals, get very up close and personal, pose for pictures, and actually participate in their grooming. Uh, one of the most popular things we do here at Grant's Farm, connecting animals with people. This year we celebrate our 120th anniversary. In 1903, August Bush Sr. purchased the property from the family of President and General Ulysses S. Grant. And since that time, it's been the home of the five generations of the Bush family. In 1954, Gussie Bush opened the grounds to the public, and since that time, we've hosted over 30 million visitors from all over the world. Living history is a big part of Grant's farm. I'm standing here in front of Grant's cabin, which was the last residence hand-built by a U.S. president. Grant's cabin, the Barnhof, the family estate, and other behind-the-scenes opportunities are available to guests by signing up for one of our tours. One of the things that sets a visit to Grant's Farm apart is to be able to interact with our amazing animals. Many St. Louisans grew up feeding baby goats right here at Grant's Farm, and now they share that experience with their kids and their family members. We're always looking for new ways to get people up close and personal with our animals, and this year we've started a wagon feeding tour in the Deer Park that allow animals to get up close and personal with the 200 plus animals out of the Deer Park. Grant's Farm is open all four seasons, and we celebrate accordingly. And the spring brings new babies and new opportunities for interactions and experiences with animals. And this year, we'll debut My Fest, a German celebration of spring. Summer is about families and friends spending time together, creating new memories. And on Fridays and Saturday nights, Grant's Farm comes alive with the sights and sounds of summer nights, featuring live music, food and drink specials. And this year, we'll debut an entertainment spectacular, Grant's Farm in the Sky, a drone show spectacular, featuring over 150 synchronized drones in a uniquely St. Louis and Grant's Farm setting. It's a show you won't want to miss. So Grant's Farm has something for everyone every season. And you can find further information to plan your visit to Grant's Farm right there on your screen.